Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here at AWSI in Hood River at the Second Wind store with Matt, and we're talking about all the Neil Pride stuff that you guys got coming out. You got some really technical suits this year. Yeah, we have a super technical line of wetsuits that we're really excited about for 2019, kind of a full redesign from last year, 2018. We took a big step in our wetsuits. We introduced the Yamamoto neoprene, um, which has been super popular, and so we took that and we took it to another level this year. So I'll start walking you through what we got here. Our highest end wetsuit is going to be the Recon. Um, this is made from Yamamoto neoprene, like I said before. Yamamoto uh, is limestone based. They get the limestone from the mountains in Japan. Yep. And this is the absolute stretchiest. It's the bomb. Highest end yeah. neoprene you can get. If you don't believe me, just Google Yamamoto and you can read all about it. Um, so this Recon has got something pretty cool on the inside this year that we're introducing. It's got a muscle lock system. So at the Neil Pride factory, we do a lot of compression wear for a variety of different companies. And this year we're actually integrating it into the wetsuit, into the thigh area, and also into the calf area. So this is printed on here. It's going to lead to a little quicker recovery. Keep the muscles nice and tight in the wetsuit. We're really excited about that. We also have, get this thing back inside out, or right side out, I should say. We've got this stretch zone here in the uh, forearms. So for any forearm fatigue, forearm pump, um, windsurfing, or I guess even kiting, if you've got a real high bar pressure kite, um, or doing a lot of unhook stuff, your forearms will stay nice and comfortable. Um, what else do we have on this thing? The slick this skin is, in the front. Yeah, we got so we got nice slick skin in the front for sure to keep you warm in the wind. Wind won't penetrate this stuff. These suits are also coated in Silvider 930, which is a coating that keeps your wetsuit from smelling terrible. So really? Personally, so, so you can pee in it. Yeah, like a guy like you that pees in your wetsuit a lot, this is going to be perfect. Um, it's not going to smell up your car, and you can pee in it all the time. Nice. Uh, so this has also got fully taped seams inside and out. This is the top of the line wetsuit, the Recon. You won't find anything stretchier or nicer in our line. Moving on from that, we're going to go to the the Combat. So while the Recon is a very high performance suit. Um, will be great for surfing as well. Super stretchy. Um, wind can penetrate neoprene a bit. So this material is actually what we call our armor skin. The armor skin is similar to what the old like smooth skin would be, mm -hmm. um, which a lot of windsurfing suits used to be completely covered in that because no wind can penetrate it. The only issue with the smooth skin was it was very fragile to your fingernails and stuff. Mm -hmm. This stuff is absolutely bomber. Mm. You cannot tear it with your fingernails or do anything like that so, it's so really i can lay on glass yeah so if you're looking for just the absolute most warmth you can get in a wind sport environment this is the suit to go for and this is the combat with the armor skin on the back and all the way down the front so the next step from there is going to be the mission the mission as you see does not have smooth skin on the front this is a very high performance Super lightweight wetsuit. Again, all Yamamoto limestone neoprene. Super nice, um, very flexible. If you're one of those guys that's moving around on the water all the time and going crazy or paddling a lot, this would be a great wetsuit for you. This does not have the tape seams that the previous two wetsuits had, so that's kind of one of the differences. This does have tape seams on the inside. Going one price point down from the mission, we're gonna to get to the Cortex. The Cortex we also offer in a variety of shorties, like this long arm short leg. This is a super popular wetsuit, especially in Hood River this time of the year. Um, looks cool, works great. Uh, no tape seams again, um, but really nicely stitched together, 
glued and blind stitched. Now, are mostly all your suits front zip or back zip, or can they have them, or we, do you have them both? We pretty much offer them in both, in all of our wetsuits. So the next one down, our price point suit, is going to be the Rise. Um, great price point suit. Again, Yamamoto neoprene, which is super hard to find in a wetsuit at this price. I don't think you'll really be able to find it anywhere else, so we're super lucky to be able to partner with those guys. And uh, yeah, this is an unbelievable price point suit, and uh, it's a suit that even I would wear. So we're going to go to the ladies' suits now, and a lot of the ladies' suits are very similar to the men's as far as the features and materials go. We're not cutting the ladies out of any of the awesome features we have in our suits. Um, they all do have different names. So this is the Storm. This is going to be a women's cut version of the Combat, which has the armor skin. Again, super, super warm. This is a wetsuit I put my girlfriend in when it's cold out. She loves it. There's nothing worse than having a girlfriend that's cold or a wife that's cold. Uh, they don't like that cold. Exactly. You want, to be, want them to be happy kiters. Yeah. Um, so the next suit is going to be the Serene. The Serene is similar to the Mission in the men's suit. Um, does have the muscle locking system again. The expansion uh, in the forearms. All Yamamoto again. Nice smooth skin patch on the back to keep you warm. The Vamp is going to be very similar to the Cortex for the women's suit. And then we've got the Spark, which is similar to the Rise in the men's suit. This is the price point suit. Again, great price. Amazing neoprene for the price. Uh, glued and blind stitched. Great suit. The Spark it also is offered in a shorty. Um, they've also got it cut with a little booty for some of the ladies out there that like that style. Who doesn't like the booty? Nobody. <laughs> and then we've also got the Cortex and the Rise in kid suits. So as far as I know, these are probably some of the only kid suits you can get with the Yamamoto neoprene, which is awesome. So, I wish so I had a suit this nice when I was a little kid. So you're covering pretty much the whole family. Yeah, exactly. The whole family can come in here in second wind and buy a quiver of wetsuits. We also do great with flotation. This is one of our newer vests. Um, it's a high hook vest. Works great. Your hook goes right through here. You can wear it kiting, windsurfing. We also offer a slightly more expensive version of this with a pocket where you can put your keys and whatever sa other safety accessories you might want to have in there, maybe a kite knife or something. Next up, we'll go to our harnesses. Our harnesses are very similar to 2018. The Atom carries over. This is the harness that I'm using, full carbon, super light. I think probably one of the lightest harnesses on the market, actually. Has a bit of flex, which I like for riding in the surf. Can rotate a little bit without feeling super uncomfortable. Some of the really super rigid harnesses, once they move just a little bit, it's like painful in the back. This one can move around a little bit, feels great. We have these forged aluminum spreader bars, which are really badass looking. Um, we offer them in the fireball. We also have a normal hook and also the tracker bar, which I'll get to here in a second. Next, we've got the Proton. This is actually a 2018 Proton. The 2019 one will have a slightly different graphic, which will be launching soon. This is another rigid shell harness. Um, this one's even a little bit softer than the Atom. Um, so it's going to be a little less expensive. It's not the full carbon, um, but it offers a lot of the same features and same comfort. Then we've got these, what we call the tracker shorts. So if you want to wear a seat harness and also have some style out there, these are a great option. They come with this tracker bar which is a super cool setup. It actually has a hinge here. So especially in a seat harness, you want to have as much mobility as you can. So to be able to have this tracking when you're riding toe side, it can move around. It's a lot like, it's almost like having a sliding rope setup, which we are also offering this year. Um, but I personally like having a fixed point, especially for jumping and mm -hmm. doing tricks and stuff. It's nice to have it coming from one spot, but also having a lot of mobility in that. And that basically brings us through most of our lineup. There's a lot more in the lineup, so 
go ahead and go to npsurf.com and check out the rest of the lineup. Well, thank you so much, Matt. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.